What is going on? Good morning, everybody. Wow, that was, I was probably just looking at the damn ceiling there. Hold on a second. Let me, some, let me get some stuff set up real quick. Oh, man, I need more horse mats. I had to move some horse mats over there because I had that put in. Well, not had it put in, but I'm putting it in, excuse me. So I thought, you know what? Uh, I, 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 and then in these videos, I keep seeing a lot. There's a lot of comments, especially on Instagram. I have, it's going to sound nuts, but I will, how do I want to put this? I've had thousands of DMs from people asking about like workout routines and shit like that. And I was like, I don't know if I would do a video like that. This is kind of strange. So I thought I'd put a very small piece because I know a lot of you guys are trying to get in shape. Um, there's, I know there's a lot of you guys, like there's a load. load. And uh, I thought I'd just make it easy. I'm gonna, it's like, it'd be super simple. Like maybe, maybe randomly I'll put a piece in. Like what am I doing today? Like today, strictly just straight up 100% abs. That's all I do. Like I don't mix abs with anything else. So I'll show you like a couple exercises, what I eat, start my day. That's pretty much what I do. I get up at six, five o'clock in the morning, work out, then I'm good for the day. But I don't know. I work out in my little tiny gym. This is it, this is all I got. I ain't got much. Dumbbells, this little bench thing that folds out you saw a second ago and I just bought this, a cable machine. Just put it together. So that's pretty much it. But decline, weighted, 10 pounds with the 10 pound weight, I do uh, decline. I'll do about 150 to 200 reps of those, 25 cent increments. And it tears you up. It feels good though. It does, actually it doesn't feel good at all, but it feels good when you're all done. But I hope you guys are having a good day. We get, it's, it's, it's gonna be a tasty one today. Actually, I don't really know what we're doing, but it'll be good. This also kind of reminds me like the little older school vlogs on this channel, you know, we just sit in the garage with a little tiny camera making crusty videos. I'm gonna throw these, uh, I'm gonna throw these Raycons in and we're gonna, I'm gonna get at it. It's gonna be good. I need to get another horse mat though. These are horse mats for like stalls and that's what I use to work out on. The only sh part is they're so damn expensive. I think they're like 80 bucks a piece. 60 bucks. Anyway, they're, I don't know. They're expensive. Oh yeah, and real quick, if you guys are looking for like this exact same supplements that I take every single day, which is not, it's not a lot of stuff. I'll actually link at the very top of the description. There's a page on Bomar's website that we had set up to where you literally have the exact stuff that I take every single day and how, where, when I take it, how I take it. Uh, I'm, I, I'm not going to get giant. I'm, you're not going to get giant, you know what I mean? But I'm, I'm pretty sure you'll get pretty shredded. Uh, if you're trying to get the abs and the cut up, you, this is, this is, this is how you do it. So if you want to do that, I'll link that at the top of the description for you guys. Uh, and you guys can go check it out for you that actually, I mean, there's not, there's like two things people in, in, in on this world, they do not ever say, no one ever says I want to be broke as and no one ever says I want to be overweight and unhappy. That's like the two things. I mean, like you'll never meet a person that says, you know what? I want to be so and broke that uh, I can't feed my family. No, that's ignorant. No one ever says that shit. It's the same thing with uh, no one says they want to be overweight and unhappy. But you can be kind of like a little hefty and really happy. That's a thing. But anyway, that'll link that top description. I'm gonna knock out another one of these. If you guys end up working out, don't worry. It won't, it won't be that long. And we'll be on to something else. I promise you. Yes. This. This. Directly after you work out. This is the only time I take this stuff right after you work out. Which is kind of crazy. A lot of people don't realize your body actually makes creatine, so it's not like you're adding anything crazy. Then check that stuff out. And then this, every morning, same two of these. It's the only time I'm ever going to do this for you guys. It's kind of strange I'm doing this right now, but two of these some guns right here. Oh. The most important thing I put inside my body is this some bitch right there. You guys have no idea. Your life will change if you got gut problems. Whoo-wee! You're supposed to take one, but I take two. It's because, oh, around noon, feels so good. There you go, that's literally, that, that's literally what I do every single morning. Now I drink collagen peptide with my essentials at, at noon, and then another you know, protein, that's pretty much it. And another protein at dinner, and then fiber. Every day, that's what I take, same shit. I'm gonna go shower and see you guys here in a second. This is it, y'all, three of these. I held up two fingers, three turkey bacon, six eggs, and this is my lunch. It's like a, it'll end up being like 14 ounces of red meat. That's it. It's like 93% lean ground. That's literally all, that's what I eat for lunch. And maybe some almonds, some pork rinds, some tuna if I'm, if I'm feeling feisty. And a couple protein shakes. That's just literally all I'm gonna eat throughout the day. And then for dinner I need a filet and some broccoli and that's it. There you go, that's what you guys got. i to put that actually over the fire. Today, today's gonna be a good one though. We got uh, Toby's gonna be here about 10 minutes. I probably need to get this coffee going. I just told him I'll have some more coffee. Uh, Toby's gonna be here about 10 minutes and uh, it's, gonna be, it's gonna be a fun one. I, I don't exactly know what rifles we are picking up today. We're supposed to have, I don't know, it's gonna be a surprise for me as well, which I love this guy. I love surprises. 
unless, well, we're just gonna stop there. But if you guys would like to grab the same stuff that I use. Every single day you guys can, I'll link at the very top of the description. It's literally, like I said earlier, it lays it all out. It's very, very, very simple. This is what I eat every single day. I do the same thing for about two weeks. And then I go hard on a weekend. I might eat some pancakes and some cookies. And I kind of recharge the body. Then I go straight back in it for two more weeks. Uh, it's, and don't be too scared to take it. I don't take pre-workout. I'm probably one of the only guys that doesn't take pre-workout. They've got a stim free that has no caffeine. I just don't, I don't take pre-workouts. I don't know why I don't really, never really felt the need to, but there you go. There, there's, there's pretty much that. There is a pre-workout on that page though because there's a lot of people that love them. There you go. If you guys want it, link the top description. I just gave you what I eat every day. If you do the same thing and you're around like the same size as me, you may even need to adjust it just a tad bit, but other than that, you'll be, that's it. There you go. We're done with that. I'm gonna go back to what I was doing. Okay, so, so so myself and Batman have actually got to go into a. Uh, there's, you guys know who Batman is. I got to go into a quick little. I'm gonna call it a meeting. I, I guess these things are called meetings whenever you meet with people and you talk about. I guess you'd call this business stuff. But we got a. Uh, we got. I don't even know what we're picking up today. But I'm I'm fairly excited because these have been sitting here for a couple weeks. I've been slightly busy. And we're designing a surprise. That's happening today as well. Oh okay, yeah, you, you know, are you sure you? I don't know why Toby wears a hat. He doesn't have any hair. So as you guys do know, they do make everything here. Um, I'm picking up three more today. I have these things being made in some crazy, crazy colors. Every single one of them is going to be different. I have no idea what they have going on right now. I fix that actual magazine. It's an internal versus an external where we ship them off. We're doing them right inside. That This tool right here is literally going to Break all of it off, and you're gonna get chips that are a whole lot thicker. It's cutting it from near mid shape to where it'll fit any type of magazine. Oh, really? Is that what's going on right now? Yeah, so it's cutting. So basically, you can take any of these magazines, and before, it's real round, won't even fit inside. After it's done broken, it oh, okay. would have fit a magazine. That's what it's doing right now? Yeah. Okay. Oh, that's what it's cutting out pushing of there. out of there, yeah. That's cool. Each down. I wish you guys had an idea. I wish I could show you right now. It's just so wet in there. It's literally taking one of the blocks right now and cutting it down. It's kind of wild. You can hear it. Before, but it's really hard to see it. Okay, so today we're picking up uh, two 5.56s and a 308. So this 308, this bolt action 308, is, is a bit different than the, well, than the six and a half I picked up that I really haven't done very much with, mainly because I've been really busy, but like I told you guys, I'm having to do some crazy paint jobs in every single one of them. Look at this. Look how nice this is. Go ahead. Oh, 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 oh. Twist it up. Look at that. You don't even notice it's threaded. Look at that. Seamless. Anyway, we got um, crazy paint jobs. I like this. This is one of the ones that's going out to the ranch. When we open up the ranch, this is a, uh, one of the BSR ones. Look how nice that is. I think it's awesome looking. And then the old school tiger strap. Look at that. Another BSR one. These are all done by uh, Bryce Built down here in Texas, as you guys do know. I mean, look at that. I told him when I when I wanted to start working with him, I said, "Hey, I, I'll I'll take the I'll take I'll take the rifles and whatnot." I mean, I love getting rifles, but you know, let's actually do some crazy wild paint jobs. Like we got some really cool ones coming down the gate um, that are like kind of out there. Um, I mean, they have all these normal ones like this. There's some normal tans, and this is kind of cool. Kind of like a I don't know what that is. That's pretty neat. But I kind of wanted some uh, some different colors. I think the black and the orange. This one right here. Oh, hey, oh. oh. Something like that, that's pretty clean. Just that's just, I mean, look at that. Is that not clean? I don't know. But you guys will be seeing me uh, do a whole bunch of stuff in them over the next couple months because we're getting a couple rifles every month for the next however long. We got some bolt bolt action, um, just normal AR platforms. They're coming out with shotguns. I'm thinking about doing some pistols. So it's gonna be fun to kind of kind of help them go along. We're trying to come out with a bipod as well, which would be kind of a big deal. Well, it's kind of neat. I got a We the People one coming, which I'm really excited about. It's kind of cool. Anyway, I know a lot of you guys on the channel like pew pews and that kind of stuff, so you'll probably see me down here quite a bit. Um, I've got one coming. I'm actually not going to tell you what it is, because it's, it's one of the coolest rifle ideas I think I've ever came up with, and they told me they can do it, and I was like, oh my god, that is fucking awesome. So, that's one thing. I just want to show you guys that. And if you guys are looking for stuff, Brace Built is uh, quality. I'm not telling you anything else, but that's pretty much that. Toby and I, we... I don't, I don't know how the hell we get in some of the we get into we walked out with three rifles but the thing is is that entire conversation started with i 
I'm kind of lost. What we, I don't know. We should not hang out together. Is what shouldn't happen. No, we, that was. That's not. I don't even know how to explain to you guys how that conversation just changed from. I don't know. Hi. Hey, babe. What's doing? Me and Rob are sitting here, um, talking about stuff. I'm about to go in and get my first tattoo. I promise it's not my idea. I have no tattoos, and I want to. I want it to be known that this has nothing to do with me, and the fact that I just got tattoos two nights ago after some whiskey. It has nothing zero. To no, do with it. it has nothing to do with that. Hey, I just want to let you know. Um, so Toby hey, and I, I. I just want to let you know. I blame you for this. Oh, okay. I just. I didn't know. I didn't really know where that was going to go. So we're okay to do that. Here's what you're telling us. <laughs> I think y'all are crazy. <laughs> But this doesn't surprise me in the least, and so hey, whatever. Okay, cool. Well, that's good. Like so we got the blessing. So it's, it's, if, if Emily says it's okay, then we're good. So. <laughs> Just checking. All right. I love you, babe. You. You. Hey, I we, love you. What time rude. do you think you'll be home? So today Toby's gonna to be getting his first tattoo ever. Uh, he was watching some TV show last night and he was like, you know what, I'm gonna get I'm gonna get fing branded. And his wife was like, no, you're an idiot, you can get a terrible infection. He goes, f it, I'm gonna get a tattoo. And that's how that conversation went. So it did. And so <laughs> this is our family ranch brand. I'm gonna do that on my chest. So every time I can put my hand over there, it's, and it's like it's over my heart. That, and all that that's stuff. it. And we just chose the most random tattoo shop we could possibly find that had a good rating, so. It'll be fine. Well, quick little update. I'm pretty much stuck in the, uh, the old, well, I mean, I, I can't go in there because of COVID. They want to keep the capacity or some low, I don't know. I can't film Toby getting, but he's going to get on his chest. We'll, uh, we'll see when he comes out. It's a, it's a, it's what you guys have saw. Um, God, what the f was I going to say? Oh, uh, so, so a lot, I, we, we don't, we're not, I don't want to say this. When it comes to buying companies and like doing business, I absolutely love, love doing business stuff. And, and Toby is phenomenal. I mean, he's just a great guy. He's he's like my mentor. Like I literally look up to the guy. I hold his pocket on everything in life, pretty much. He tells me what I'm doing wrong and how I'm and everything like that. But when it comes to business stuff, I absolutely love it. I love taking risk. If you don't take risk in life, you're not gonna get anywhere. You're just gonna be stuck in a rut. So we like this. I mean, if we get to do it together, it'd be fun. Uh, I don't know. I, I mean, it just sounds like a good time. I mean, it, it, of course, there's a there's a lot of risk in it. But like I said before, without risk, there's no reward. So I don't know. If you, if you have the opportunity to get into some business that you guys are kind of, I don't know, I'm all about it. I'm all about taking risks. Some of them haven't panned out, but a lot of times they do pan out. I'm gonna say eight of ten. Eight of, eight out of ten times it pans out. The other two, you remember, you remember the ones that hurt the worst. Kind of like stocks. <sighs> anyway, okay, there's that. There's that. Just wanna, just wanna throw that out there. So we just kind of finished up Guggen Week here this past week. Uh, I'm gonna tell you guys right now, this is probably one of the more wild Guggen Weeks we've had in a long time because we haven't really had everybody together in in. I don't know, it's been probably three, four, five months because of this whole COVID and it was pretty good. I mean, look at this, we have currently not really, not really, not really know why there's a watermelon and some pumpkins in a boat, but that's there. We got a bunch of random tattoos at like two in the morning. That, like I'm telling you guys, it's getting kind of fun. Look at this. I've got a damn camel on my toe. Let that sink in. I have a damn camel on my Oh, I've got another. I got another one that night as well, and I actually paused on getting another tattoo. I was gonna get three tattoos in one night. I'm about to go on a spree with some tattoos. I would have got another one today, but I left my wallet in my truck. But I'm about to get on a spree. We're gonna fill up the leg, fill up the other arm. I got another thing I'm putting on my my rear end. It's gonna it's gonna be kind of goofy, but I think that's probably why Toby decided I need to get a tattoo. Look at this. Ooh end of the month, you said? Yes. End of the month. Hmm. These will be available at the end of the month. These have done some damage out in your place. Yes, they have. Right now, I'm actually, it looks like I'm like oddly looking at your groin. The <laughs> 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 zoom lens. That was a zoom lens right there. <laughs> you know what I do want, Toby? I want you to take off your shirt. Take that off. I did get a tattoo. So, one of the things you need to learn, or I've learned about Rob, is he likes tattoos. 
and being an influencer, and I'd always said I'm never gonna get that tattoo in my life. But <laughs> being that he is kind of an influencer, that, somehow he talked me into, oh, it's kind of bloody, I guess. No, but it's fine. Looks good. That is our ranch brand. There you go. Our family ranch brand. What's so. talk about? First like, added. I like it. Girls are gonna flip out. Your girls? Well, yeah, you are married. <laughs> <laughs> I was just gonna say, the girls, yeah. talking girls. about my daughters. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have, do not have enough space for any more. No. Females, definitely not. You were emailed out. Yes, I am. All right, bye. So that's what happens when you hang out with Rob. So I do think it's kind of funny that Toby got a tattoo because he, he told me a while back that he has no ambitions. He never thought he was going to get a tattoo. Like, he was never going to get one. And then it, it, it's <laughs> that, that, that's what I'm telling you guys. We're kind of like the same people. He literally decided to get a tattoo because he was watching a TV show and they got branded. I was like, God, this is dude. Uh, now, now the goal is to get his wife, Emily, to get a tattoo. But that one's going to be a little more tough. What we really need to do is get Manager Matt. Manager Matt to jump out of an airplane and to get a tattoo. We need that son of a gun to start actually living life. I want to say this again. He knows how to live his life. Well, I don't want to say this again. He's having a fourth kid. This guy, pullout game, non-existent. He just likes having a bunch of kids. Oh my gosh, can you see everybody? You know how long it's been? Everybody's been asking where you've been. Where have you been? You've been at school? Yeah, how old are you now? You're five? You're a whole handful? Can you can you can you read? You can't read yet? Can you have a conversation though? Do you have the hiccups? Is it bad? Do you want him to go away? You want me to show you how you want me to show you how you do it? <laughs> yeah. And this is how you get rid of the hiccups. I what, have me. Well, yeah, where are we going? We haven't we haven't we haven't given them a house tour. You wanna to give them a house tour tomorrow? Hmm? Oh, you want to show him a house? We'll do it tomorrow. You want to do a house tour tomorrow? No, you never, you never seen this cat. I know they haven't seen that because that's one of the things that Daddy wants. We're gonna, we're gonna wait to show him that. But you want to show him what's inside that bag? That middle bag right there. We're gonna do the cat food. Dad, well, Daddy got you a gift. <laughs> you want to see the gift? It's in that middle one. This one right here. Thanks, yeah, that one's yours. Open it up. Open it up. You gotta open it up. No, no, the big pocket. The big pocket. Oh no, that's that's not right here. Look. Open it up. What is it? You can't see? Here, let's undo this. This will make it easy for you. Okay. Yeah. Ouchie. Yeah. You want to? You want? You want to hold it? Yeah. Okay. See how it looks. You want to see how it looks? Mm -hmm. Oh, there you go. It's kind of big. It is kind of big. You like it? Uh, oh, it's so heavy. You got it? Uh, huh? You, you couldn't find a small one. I couldn't find a small one? Do you want a smaller one? Yeah. There you go. Oh, my gosh. How is it too big? Is it that I see that one. It just you, sounds good. You like them? Yeah. I just want to go that side out. What? Oh. It's about to fall on my toe. Oh, no. Okay, let's put it back in here. Okay. It's kind of heavy on that. It's almost fall on my toe. I know. Oh, you... I see a bump on your forehead. Ah. It's been. Oh my gosh, this thing tilts. Look. It tilts. Now we're fine. Oh, it's been so long. We haven't done this together in a long time. What do you want to eat for dinner? Do you want chicken nuggets? Uh, okay, let's see the cat. Okay. I know we're not we're not going to show them all this stuff. This is, that's kind of a funny story. So we're gonna we're just gonna wait to tell you guys about that. Okay. We're gonna wait. Do you want to play with it though? Look, this is this is for the cats. Jump off and they're going to get the deal in the tunnel. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna sign off here for a second and. Uh, I'm gonna let her play with it. Okay, well, we did. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it's kind of super random, but this was just pretty much what I did. Actually, you know what I did? This this was it. Uh, I, I need to get this thing set up. I, I don't think I'm gonna do it tonight. I think I'm gonna wake up and run. I, I know a lot of you guys, if you're still watching the video, doing the fitness deal. I do. I, when I run, I run five miles every single time, and that's pretty much what I run. And uh, sometimes I might do abs and then run, but no, no, no. It's pretty much. Pretty much what I'm doing in the morning because I got to knock out a couple videos going into the weekend. I, I hope you guys did enjoy this video over here on Lunkers TV. Other than that, I'll catch you guys in another episode. Let's go ahead and roll that sweet, succulent, motherfucking outro because this is this is a pretty much old, old school style video. I'm out of here, y'all. <laughs>
Let's do it.